of cryptocurrency. Uh, we do apologize again for the technical that we did experience uh, on the other software. And we are now using the uh, Clicker software, so I hope we, it holds for all the people on this call tonight. So uh, tonight, Dr. Rusha Ignatova, our co-founder, uh, owner and uh, founder of OneCoin, will go through cryptocurrency with us. We all know about cryptocurrency, but she is the expert. She will give us the insights of where we are also with one coin in terms of the digital currency. Now, please be patient. Please listen, and I will hand over the word to Dr. Rusha Ignatova. Are you there? Hello. Thank you, Sebastian. Uh, thank you all for attending this webinar. And uh, what I would like to do today is um, I would like to give you an introduction to cryptocurrency. I would like to give you an introduction to uh, mining. And uh, because we have currently almost 150,000 people in our network, what I would like to do is I would make want to make sure in this webinar that you all understand cryptocurrency, the basics, and you understand actually what we are doing here and what we are promoting. So, um, you all here tonight, um, I hope, are members of OneCoin. If not, I would like to tell you a bit more about the cryptocurrency. So, what is cryptocurrency? What is OneCoin? Why are we all here? Um, let me say a few words about myself, um, who I am and what I do. Uh, my name is Dr. Ruzhe Ignatova, as Sebastian said, and um, I have uh, a degree in law and I have a degree in economics, a PhD in law. Uh, I have degrees from the University of Constance, which is in, which is in Germany, and uh, the University of Oxford. I have written two books, uh, one on cryptocurrency and personal finance, one was my PhD thesis on European business law, and um, I have worked um, my whole life, actually not in network marketing, but um, I come from finance and I have worked in consulting, I have worked in banking, some of the big banks worldwide, like Sberbank in Russia, uh, insurance companies like Allianz, and um, other major European banks, actually. So, this is me, and I'm the founder and the CEO of OneCoin. And um, I would like to tell you a bit more about our concept. I have been actually very passionate about finance, about money, and about interesting investments. When you think what changed our lives and what were the most important and more prof most profitable investments in the world over the last years, most probably what comes into your mind is Google, I guess. Most people uh, also have an iPhone with them. Apple was extremely, extremely successful. And actually, one of the major things that transformed my life is um, Facebook. Now, Facebook is something that is uh, based on what? One is the internet, and the second one is the network. Now, that's interesting about cryptocurrency is that cryptocurrency utilizes the same principles. The network on the one point of time, who uses the, the coin, how successful is it, how knowledgeable, how, how many people do know about this. And the second thing is net, of course, and uh, the third thing is finance and money. This is why I believe that cryptocurrency has a huge, huge potential. And uh, we already have a proof of concept. What is a proof of concept? Proof of concept is somebody who, I believe they do not do it as well as we do, I do it in a different way, but these people already showed us that cryptocurrency works. And the first mover or the pioneer of cryptocurrency, and without this coin we all would not be here, uh, is actually Bitcoin. Now we all know about Bitcoin, and Bitcoin was founded 2008 and 2009 and gained its popularity actually mainly in 2012 and 2013. 2009, somebody created the algorithm and uh, afterwards, uh, afterwards they started the mining. 
So 2009, this coin started trading at something around 10 cents. In 2013, this coin actually got traded for over $1,200. How did this happen? Why did this happen? And how can we get there? Now, what is very, very, very interesting about Bitcoin is when you look at the first year of Bitcoin, now this is here where it reaches about $35 per coin. Almost nobody knew about the coin. People started off, it just gained popularity a bit. And then later on, especially here in 2013, more and more people got to know the coin. Now, how do I know that people know the coin? Everybody is and was talking about this coin. Even my mother, who is not a very techy person and not having IT background, told me one day about Bitcoin. Now, this impressed me, of course. But um, being now serious again, what I'm saying is why Bitcoin gained so much value. Bitcoin gained value because it was attractive to the investors. Cryptocurrency is a very, very interesting asset. And the second is it gained value because it became popular. People start talking about this. Now, what does it take us to become at least successful as Bitcoin? Currently, uh, we did some analysis. Bitcoin has about 250,000 people who own more than one Bitcoin. Now, if I ask you here in the chat, and some of you I know even in person, how many of you have more than one coin? I think we have quite a lot of people. So, what I want to say is, Bitcoin made it to be extremely popular with few people in a concept that is not as strong in the distribution as ours. So the day we managed to have 250,000 active members who use their coins, I strongly believe we can match Bitcoin success. And I'll show you some numbers on this, actually. So Bitcoin was paving the way for us. Bitcoin made history in one point of time they had about 11.7 billion market capitalization you calculate market capitalization by value of a coin times the mind of the existing coins and you see people started doing transactions with their coins here this graph shows you the transactions people do now one coin is currently a baby you know we are still here in the first point of development so we are still not trading the coin. We don't have yet transactions. We are starting to develop the coin. But one day, of course, we want to go here and have much more transactions. And um, currently, since 2009, we have about 31 million Bitcoin transactions. It is very difficult to say how many vendors accept Bitcoin. 50,000 is an estimate. It could be less. It could be more. It depends always on several points. So also you see the value of the Bitcoins grows uh, over the last years tremendously. This is one of my favorite stories, guys. Now, in the beginning, when Bitcoin was still in the baby shoes and people were not using it, not knowing about it, one of the first reported transactions was how a guy bought actually a pizza Actually, there were two pizzas, but uh, yeah, this is the story, for 10,000 bitcoins. Now, if this guy would have waited until 2013 and had not spent his 10,000 bitcoins, he would have over $7 million. So somebody, we can say, spent $7 million on a pizza. To me, uh, this is maybe the most expensive pizza in the world. And uh, I know that a lot of you have more than 10,000 one coins. And uh, if somebody wants to buy a pizza for 10,000 coins, he should please contact me and we find the deal. But be careful because I'll put his picture on the and the next time I'll say, this is the guy who bought a pizza for 10,000 one coins. So what I'm saying is, Bitcoin started off years ago. People did not know what will happen. And it was extremely cheap in the beginning before it started off his success. But in the meantime, not only we have realized that cryptocurrency is a big thing and a hot topic and this may be as successful as Google or Facebook or whatever is out there. So Wall Street actually realized that cryptocurrency is a super, super interesting thing to go and to do. Now here on this picture, you see the Winklevoss twins and um, 
these guys are extremely famous. Most of you probably know that they were involved in Facebook, and these guys have founded now a trust which is dealing with Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. So what I want to say here is, not only we realized how important and how interesting cryptocurrency is, but also Wall Street. And a lot of you ask me or ask support or ask our lawyer even, is cryptocurrency actually legal? Cryptocurrency, you know, it's money, it's virtual, it goes over the internet. Is it a legitimate concept? Is it illegal? Can I promote it? Well. I always say whenever a government taxes you on the profit of a deal or of a currency, then yes, it is legal. But also the, big, uh, the Wall Street Journal and um, a lot of other authorities have written a lot about Bitcoin and there are statements showing us and saying that cryptocurrency is a legal asset. You can find in our back end, in the back office, um, a legal opinion of our lawyer who has assessed several countries if cryptocurrency is legal there. Now, the overall conclusion to this is that cryptocurrency is legal in most countries. And if your country is not on the list that we have assessed, please contact us at the back office, the, the support team, and they will get back to you. But in most, uh, in, uh, I think we have most of the markets where we're promoting our product, that they are saying that cryptocurrency is legal there. This journal, this, this journal article here is actually very, very interesting. And when you have time, you can have a look. But it is saying that the Department of Justice in the U.S., as you know, U.S. is one of the most strictest markets, actually recognizes Bitcoin as an asset. And what is even more interesting to me is that the U.S. classified cryptocurrency as a commodity. What is a commodity? Gold is a commodity. And I think that cryptocurrency and gold actually have a lot in common. And I'll speak about this a bit when we speak also about the mining. So what are the key takeaways from this part that I just presented to you? Point one, Bitcoin is one of the most successful financial assets 2013. 2013, Bitcoin value add of 23 and uh, also, sorry, 73 times. So Bitcoin cryptocurrency works. It shows that it can be extremely successful. It shows also that Wall Street gets more and more interested in cryptocurrency and also that cryptocurrency is a legal asset to own. So now let me move on to the next part of my presentation. Now, what is actually one coin? How does it work? Why does cryptocurrency have value? How does this work? So, one coin, first of all, is a cryptocurrency. It is extremely important that you understand that we are not a digital currency or not a token system, but we are a cryptocurrency. What does this mean to be a cryptocurrency? We have our own algorithm where the coin is based on. Um, our algorithm is not based on the Bitcoin algorithm. There are many coins outside. Actually, the last time I checked, there were about 400 cryptocurrencies outside. And most of these coins have just copied technical requirements of Bitcoin and just claim to be their cryptocurrency in their own right. Now, what we did is we combined two of the most successful and most innovative and secure algorithms, in my opinion, in the market. And we have a combination of the X11 and script algorithm for our coin. Also, a cryptocurrency, and this is super, super important, guys, is in the beginning, before we start the mining, so which was January this year, we had to set the total number of coins that one coin will have is limited to 2.1 billion coins. Until now, I checked today, we have around 90 million coins mined, about 4% of coin now. But very, very, very important, we cannot create more than 2.1 billion coins together. It's simply impossible because our algorithm starts working already. So we can not like the U.S. Fed or other known banks, some of the leading countries with high inflation. I myself live in Eastern Europe. 
And I'll never forget the 90s, where inflation was more than percent per year. So it means today I can buy with $10 maybe FEC, because inflation is something that happens in big countries and in developing countries because the note bank and the Federal Reserve just can print money. Unfortunately, we cannot print more one coin than 2.1 billion. Unfortunately for you, because it creates value, of course. So regardless how fast we grow, regardless how many members we are, we will not be able to distribute more than 2.1 billion coins. Now, there are some here on the call who joined very, very early. There are some people here who joined and who mined very early with a mining difficulty of four tokens per coin. These guys, I have to say, are extremely fortunate because they joined at the lowest, lowest uh, difficulty ever. You also here are fortunate if you start mining, and I know most of you do actually, because mining today gives you a huge advantage to mining tomorrow. And I'll show you this. Now, how do you make money with the one concept before I move on by, to, to cryptocurrency again? Now, first of all is we have the so-called tokens. Now, these tokens, and we had a split two weeks ago, split. So if I have a package with 100 euro, I have 1,000 tokens inside, and these tokens are valued somewhere between 10 cents and 20 cents. These tokens split at least once, depending on which package you are. So instead of 1,000 tokens, I'll have 2,000 tokens after a split, and I can put them all into mining. So I double the value, actually, of my, to of my tokens uh, within something between six to eight weeks, depending on the growth of the company, depending on several factors whenever a split occurs. Until now, we had two splits into one coin three, and uh, we're extremely, extremely happy uh, to see how things are going, and we accept most probably the next split to come in May, in May but we're not sure, of course, there are too many things to happen. Now, how else do you make money with the one concept? You make money by mining the coin. So, the coin itself started off at five uh, tokens mining difficulty, which is almost equal to 50 cents. Today, we mine at seven tokens per coin, which is 70 cents. So it means when we switch on the trading, if you sell the coin for 70 cents, you make already a profit of 40% of the coin owned. So this is actually something that's amazing. The third option, but on the option Sebastian Greenwood will speak on Thursday, is we have a simple and a very generous bonus plan, which is uh, actually very, very good. I think because I'm not coming from network marketing. When we started up doing the bonus plan, I had only one requirement. I said, please make it simple so even I understand, which is not coming from the industry. Do not make 20 bonuses, do not make too complicated, just make it simple and make sure that people understand and know what they're making. And I think we have done this because we have a very simple binary bonus, which is 10% less select. The matching bonus actually is most exciting parts of the compensation and we have a startup bonus which helps you guys in the first 30 days to make money. Now, all of you here should expect one question when speaking with people about cryptocurrency and this should be the first question that you ask me. Why has cryptocurrency value? What is the point? Why should we actually hold cryptocurrency? Why should I not go and invest all my money in gold? Why should I not go and buy myself a dinner? Why should I not buy cryptocurrency the place to go and the thing to go? What's the point? Now, there are three things actually why an asset has value. One point, but it never goes well, believe me, is speculation. So people come in, buy and sell an asset. We have seen this for Bitcoin where so many people bought and the price went up very high and then went very low. We have seen this in the USA with the mortgage market. You know, prices go up, 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 and then in one point they go down. Most speculators actually, guys, join at the highest point and they lose almost all their money. So of course you can speculate with one coin, you can buy coins, you can sell coins, and maybe make money if you know what you do. Perfect. 
The second thing why people use cryptocurrencies, they say, oh, it's a very good investment. No, it's a very, very good investment. So they buy now coins of mine coins, keep them for two or three years, and then sell with the profit. There's a very, very good story actually outside, <clears throat> which is about the guy, I think he was in Norway. This guy bought bitcoins for $27, $27 in 2010. So this guy forgot about the bitcoins, and bitcoins are very easy to forget if you put them somewhere on your computer and don't think about them. So he forgot about them until 2013. Then she somehow remembered and found out that these coins were worth more than $800,000. So he sold the coins and he bought himself a super nice apartment in the center of Oslo. And uh, this guy, let me call him an investor. Why? He bought, he held the coins and he sold later. So this works too. However, what I think is, this is not enough to create value. Why? does something have value? Think again. Something has value for me only if I can use it. And this is something actually that is why I'm excited about cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency is so much more than just an asset. Let's assume you guys have a fork to eat or a piece of gold. What is more valuable? Now you'll tell me immediately, oh, of course, Dr. Ruja, the gold is more valuable. But actually, why? Gold is a soft yellow metal. Why is it more valuable than the fork that you can use to do something with it? Well, gold is more valuable for one reason, because it's very rare. It's not enough of it. I can have so many spoons and forks as I want, but not enough gold for everyone. So it's scarce. It's not enough. It's like cryptocurrency. I put 2.1 billion coins and that's it. No more. The second thing, however, is what can I do with cryptocurrency? And my vision of one coin was always to make a currency that is not just an asset to hold, but something that can be used. And if we think a bit more about cryptocurrency, what is cryptocurrency? What could I do with cryptocurrency? Now, I could use cryptocurrency as traditional money. I can buy and sell things for cryptocurrency. So I go into a store, I pay with one coins, and then I, uh, with dollars or with euro. Well, this is fine. I can make payments with cryptocurrency, perfect. But I can also pay with euro, with dollars. So what's the point? Why do cryptocurrency? And I think there are three things that are extremely, extremely interesting about cryptocurrency and why they are a big part of the future. Point one is, we in Europe are very spoiled with cross-border transactions. So I can send money today from Southwest today to Germany. Within one hour, I send money. It is day in three hours, in three days, most probably. But in other parts of the world, sending money and doing cross-border transactions is not that simple. Cryptocurrency, however, can send money from here in Sofia to wherever I want it in the world. I can send from one member to another coins within 10 minutes. The other person has the coins and I do transfer. What do I do? I create a payment network. So I can make a payment much faster than a traditional bank transfer. And this is a huge value add. I don't know if I have somebody from India on the call here, but I think I have, I saw somebody. So let's say this guy is in Singapore and he has his friend in India and he wants to send money to her today because there's an emergency, there's something happening. She needs the money now. How? He can go to Western Union, but Western Union charges a lot and Western Union has limits. Bank wire. Three days later, the lady might receive the money. The emergency is already gone. If he sends one coin to her, she receives immediately. And now the next question. What happens when she has the one coin? How can she get them out? Now, what we want to do, and you probably all have seen the one pay wallet. The one thing wallet received a very nice facelift over the last weeks, so you might go out and check it out. The one pay wallet is linked to a debit card, a Visa or a MasterCard or a China Union Pay card, and this wallet will be linked with the one coin. So what happens is after somebody sends the money, to, uh, the, the coins to somebody else, this other person takes the one card, which is a Visa card, let's say for example, 
go to the cash machine and take out cash for the one coin. And this is something that has not been done before anywhere. No other cryptocurrency has been linked successfully to a card system or to something else. Now, I told you before we started the call, Bitcoin is accepted by probably 50,000 merchants. 50,000 merchants take Bitcoin. Now, 50,000 merchants take Bitcoin. Link, however, one coin to the master or the Visa card. Now, all the MasterCard merchants take one coin. And this is millions, guys. Even the guy around the corner in a small restaurant takes one coin then. And we have done something that nobody has done in the world before, which is making cryptocurrency real. And I always say, as long as I just see numbers in my back office, as long as I just see virtual numbers, it is not real, guys. Whenever I can spend it, then it becomes real. And this is what we all work for. And this is why I say I come from finance. I don't come from network marketing. What excites me is the financial crisis. Creating a payment network worldwide, making people successful and helping them. So I see there are questions about the one pay wallet. There are amazing things about this and maybe we do a separate webinar on this. I'll speak about this a bit later. I want just to give you one piece of information about OnePay. OnePay has applied for an electronic money license in the European Union and we hope that in two to three months we'll have a license there which brings OneCoin and the OnePay wallet into a completely different league. So what happens is we will be licensed by a regulator in the European Union and we'll link our card to the wallet. So this is something actually that is so special about our OneCoin. First of all, we have a much broader base and so much more potential than Bitcoin. Because OneCoin targets everyone outside. You don't need to know a lot about IT. You don't need to have a super fast computer. You don't need to have a lot of money to join OneCoin. Everybody can join OneCoin if you want. With little money, helping out people joining easily. So uh, the second thing is we have a centralized strategy for this coin. So we in the head office and a lot of you work for this to make this coin popular, more popular day to day. And the third thing is we plan to make cryptocurrency real and making it possible for you to use it in your everyday life. Let me show you one thing that is special about one coin and how you can understand uh, how you can understand actually what's going on and if other people are scammed on the market because I see a lot of people calling themselves cryptocurrency or whatever but they're not. Now a cryptocurrency of course a crypto code and an algorithm point one. The second thing is that every user gets an e-wallet with an address and it's encrypted and the third one is we have a blockchain. Now, a blockchain, how can you understand what a blockchain is? I sometimes compare the blockchain with the Visa or MasterCard terminal. If you go and buy dinner for yourself or for your wife, you go and give the MasterCard to pay for it. Now, the merchant takes the MasterCard, puts it in his machine, and then a verification from Visa or MasterCard happens for the transaction. Yes, this guy can spend the money, no, he cannot. This is actually what the blockchain does for us. The blockchain approves transactions, it makes sure that nobody spends his one coin twice, and it gives us an overall security. All the coins mined go into the blockchain. All the transactions go into the blockchain. And now, people say, okay, but the one coin blockchain is centralized. So currently, we only in our back office see the blockchain. So how do you know if we do not manipulate the blockchain? How do you know that everything is safe and secure? And the answer is, I'm sorry to say, you don't know. But because you don't know, what we did is we hired an auditor, somebody who's editing our blockchain and who will publish an audit every month on this blockchain if everything there is fine, 
that nobody is tampering with the blockchain and that this blockchain is perfectly legitimate. And to be honest, I do not know about anyone who has done this before. And um, we will have also our auditor, I hope, in Dubai on our event on the 15th of May. And he will be able to say a few words on the blockchain, how we assess the security of the blockchain, and that these all things are real. So this guy is a reputable person, and he will be able to tell you a bit more about this. Because trust is something very important in network marketing. But I also want you to know that all what we do is real and to have somebody to confirm this for you. This is something that will come very, very soon and we'll have the first audit before Dubai. This is something that I can promise. So this is something for you. It's somewhere in the back office. Uh, maybe you just can have a look because I receive a lot of questions. Oh, is Gem coin real? Is whatever coin real? Is Mickey Mouse coin real? Well, have a look and then you can answer these questions yourself. Can I see a blockchain of this coin? If I cannot print it, how often do they verify transactions? We verify our transactions every 10 minutes. Blockchain verifies transactions. Interesting to know is which algorithm is using the coin. Is it just a Bitcoin clone or have they done something, you know, innovative? One of the things also is very, very interesting. Um, how many coins can be created? So whenever somebody cannot tell you how many coins, this is an issue. This means that this is not a real cryptocurrency. These guys will print so much tokens, coins, whatever they call it, to rip you off. They are like the note bank. They print whatever they need. And this is not protection of the people who invest in the coin. Uh, and um, how do I store the currency? Is it encrypted? How can counterfeit and fraud be managed? So this is something I think that is very important. Whenever somebody asks you, is one coin real or is this coin real? Just think about this question. You will be able to answer this actually. Now, one of the most important things in one coin is the so-called mining. Currently, 80% of the members are mining the coin. And this makes me extremely happy on the one hand. On the other hand, we are seeing that the waitlist is coming up because so many of you want to mine. What is mining? Why do we mine? Why can't I just give you coins? What's the point, actually? <laughs> so when I compared one coin and cryptocurrency a bit to gold. Now, just imagine, how do we get gold? We can have a gold mine. So whenever a gold miner you know, is found, what happens first is you see a lot of gold, actually almost on the street, you know, you just pick it up, it's everywhere. So you just go, you take out the gold, and in the beginning it's very, very simple. So you create actually the gold, you take it out. And this is exactly what we do also with mining. In the beginning there's nothing, there's just a mathematical algorithm. Then we switch it on, the servers, the computers, and we start calculating. So we start calculating and with finding the right solutions for the algorithm, we actually create coins. Every one of the 2.1 billion coins has to be created and to be found. Only after we find them, we manage actually to create the coins. Currently, I said that we have about 90 million coins created which is just only 4% of the coins that we will find during the next years. The blockchain limits us. Now, let's say, oh my God, we grow so fast. Let's, pour, let's print more coins. Let's do it faster. We cannot. What we can do is we can create every 10 minutes, 10,000 coins. That's it, not more. Why? Because this is how the algorithm works. And this is actually why our coins get more and more valuable. There's a thing which is called mining difficulty. The mining difficulty actually means how much does it cost me to go and to mine one coin? Now, here you can see something super interesting. And then you can see again that this is not just a story I tell you, but somebody did it before. In 2010, if a user was starting mining Bitcoin coins, 
In one hour, he could find one coin. 2014, it took this user 25 days. The gold, when I say in the beginning, we find gold everywhere. It's so simple. I just go and just take it out. But then, when I get more and more gold out of the mine, it's more and more different, difficult, you know. I have to start digging. I have to do so much. You know, I have to do a lot of work. It costs me money, time, and a lot of effort to take out the gold out of the depth of the earth. Actually, exactly the same happens to cryptocurrency. In the beginning, now, it's super easy to find the first coins. The computer does not need to calculate so long and so much. And this is why we are able, we were able to mine at four tokens of 40 cents, let's say, uh, per coin. But now, what happens is it gets more and more difficult. And whoever is with us from the beginning on was mining four, four tokens per coin. And currently, we are mining on the auto mining for six coins per uh, for six tokens per coin. And then, uh, what we do is we see that today it takes to seven tokens to mine a coin. So it gets more and more difficult. And uh, this is something that you should keep in mind. And um, also something uh, that uh, actually you should understand that um, is very very important the earlier you join the better um i would like to show you the bitcoin blockchain it looks very similar um to our blockchain ours is a bit like different colors and so on but actually the main things are here how many coins mined how many transactions so now this here is when you go to the blockchain of one coin, you will see that here is not a lot going on. Not many transactions happening. And the question is why? Why? Because currently we're in a baby phase, actually. Our coin is so young. We have only 4% of the coins. So, of course, not many transactions are happening. The transactions that happen is actually when we distribute coins to users and other things. But when our time progresses you will see much more transactions happening here and something like this will be happening also in one coin universe so the main reason why we don't have so many transactions is because we are very very young currency i would like to show you one thing this is the mining difficulty of bitcoin i said in the beginning one coin per hour could be found and now we see that actually 25 to 30 days until a coin is fine. So here is something that happens to Bitcoin, and this thing actually started to happen to one coin also again. Yeah? We are currently here, but you see from four tokens, we are now to six. And I very, very much expect us in one year to be somewhere around 50 to 60 tokens for a coin. Here also you see the difficulty and the price. Now, what happens is, or what we can see, and it's very normal actually, is that the higher the difficulty, the higher also the trading price of the coin. Why is this the point? Now, let's imagine that this, that, that to create or to, to produce a pair of shoes costs $50. Nobody will go and sell a pair of shoes below $50. And the same actually happens to coins. If it costs you to mine a coin, let's say 50 cents, you will not go and sell the coin for 30 cents. Why? Because it does not make sense. So this is why normally the price of the exchange where people buy the coin is a bit more expensive than what you have when you mine the coin. So Also, you can find on the internet the so-called mining calculators. So mining calculators can show you for Bitcoin, for example, how much it costs you to mine a coin. And you see that it gets more and more expensive and how it is calculated is by electricity, complexity and how many coins are mined. So this is something actually that um, happens to other coins 
And uh, that is not only typical for one coin, that it gets more and more difficult to mine a coin. So, now let me tell you one thing. When I started on the 20th of mining the coin with some of you in Hong Kong, I said that I would like one coin to become top three in the market. Not number three, but top three, right? So today we have not started trading yet. But if we would start trading, our coin would be traded today between 60 and 70 cents. And we have about 90 million coins. Now, guys, this means that if we would be listed in one of the exchanges of above 50 million euro. Now, let me say it again. 50 million euro. Is it a lot? Is it little? I don't know. But what I can tell you that if I have a market capitalization of 50 million euro, I and you actually, we are number four in the cryptocurrency world. Now, this is something that like, is really incredible for me when I look at the numbers. We are number four in the world. People just don't know about this. They just do not know. And why don't they know? Because we are not listed yet in the public exchanges and we have not switched on trading. But what I want to tell you is that this is something that is extremely exciting. So if we are now number three or number four today, just imagine how long it takes us to get to number one. In the beginning, people were laughing at me when I was telling them that we want to be number three. They, they were just laughing. I was talking to my investment banking friends. And now look at these numbers. So what we need to do now is the following. We need to get somebody or some exchange to list us so that people start seeing us outside. What we also need to do is we need to be also as members. We should not get us the price to get too high too fast because this is also very, very, very important. Whatever goes high too fast is dangerous. So we should just build up the coin, make sure we all use it and educate our members about this. But this is something that I never believed would happen. So we currently, and this is uh, public actually, public uh, information, you can Google uh, market capitalization cryptocurrency, and then you can just calculate 65 cents today times whatever we have mined, and you know how big our market capitalization is. So this is something actually that makes me extremely proud, and I want to thank everyone out there, because without you guys, we would have never, ever made it. I am so proud to be part of this network, to be with you, and we all in the network uh, and in the company are so dedicated to your success and work very hard here. So I think this is amazing. Um, I think everybody knows how to mine. Uh, this is the dashboard. Here you can see how many one coins you have. And you can here sign up for the mining. And um, I think there are a lot of uh, frequent asked questions in the, in the office. I will not speak even so much about the mining because most of you mine. Now, the promotion that we did about auto mining and mining before the split, I must tell you very, very clear, it will not be extended after May. You know that we have sometimes invested uh, and in um, you know, extended promotions. This we definitely will not do. So whoever you have and wants to start mining now and just enjoy the splits, even without, you know, the mining and the split should do now. Because after May, I will not extend this because we have so many people mining now. And all of them want to mine on a good price. So this is something that uh, I just would like to let you know. Uh, it was one of the most successful promotions we ever did. Um, this we will not extend. So just guys, get whoever you may, and it will be amazing. Um, this is the end actually of my presentation, of the official presentation. I will try to be more often on the webinars because I see that so many people are joining and I want to spread the concept to all of you. Uh, I want to make two announcements or just like explanations to the network. 
Uh, I think Sebastian will speak a bit more on the Thursday, but let me say also some things. Uh, if you open today the back office, you will see that we built up um, there on the Dubai event. Check it out. We speak where the location is, the qualification period, and I would be super happy to see as many as I can there. We have some really, really amazing surprises. Uh, some of them really like unbelievable, and I would like to share them in person with as many as I can there. The qualification is in the back office. Everything is there, so just check it out. I saw here on the chat uh, some Conlegos members. Hello, guys. Can I just say some words? Of, uh, first of all, um, I think it's very, very exciting that the Conlegos guys are joining the OneCoin network. I want to wish you a very, very warm welcome to us. Uh, and I would like to do some things what will happen over the next days so that you guys feel safe and know like what the timeline is. First of all, uh, greetings from uh, the Steinkeller brothers. We talked today again, and we are very much aligned what's going to happen. So what will happen is the following. Uh, we are integrating current Linux members in our software. You will all receive an email when we are done, and I hope this to happen until end of this week, with new logins, with new things, with uh, an explanation, and your accounts, your cash account, your bonuses will be transferred to the OneCoin system. So all of you will have information in your back office. You can log in, you can check out everything, and we are extremely excited and happy to be all there. Uh, I know that there are also a lot of webinars going on on Comdigo's part, and I spoke actually on one last Friday. And I think that together we can make miracles, and it will be something actually very exciting and a good journey ahead. Uh, what we will do, as we will be one network now, is we will also create the, or integrate this hybrid platform with the auctions, and whoever of the OneCoin network wants to join or to participate in an auction can do so with OneCoins. Now, why we decided to do this with the Conligos network, of course, I respect the Steinkeller brothers a lot, and we had a very good connections, and it was actually a very good meeting we had with them. But the, there were two reasons for us why we decided to go together. One was because you guys have a network and a lot of uh, value creation potential for us, too. And the second one is because we think that the hybrid auction is one of the first things where we all can start spending our one coins if we want. And I'm always looking for options how to utilize the one coin network. The bonus system stays the same. Everything actually stays the same for us here in one coin, uh, but we have more opportunities and more options actually to use the coin. Now I see here a lot of questions on the U.S. market. Let me address this one too before we end the webinar. Guys, we are working currently extremely hard on the U.S. market. So um, we are currently consulting with lawyers. We are finalizing the bonus plan. We are working very, very hard. And we will let you know very soon how we will proceed in the U.S. Just have some patience. Please note also currently no registrations from the U.S. Not on the fake countries, please don't do this. We will have very soon a solution, I hope, which is perfectly legal, perfectly fine, and gives us all uh, very good opportunities also in the US. Just have patience. We want to be everywhere and we want to do our homework. So please be patient and we will be very big. We cannot be a cryptocurrency without the presence in the US. I understand this and this is why we work hard, but the US is not open yet, okay? So the MasterCard distribution will start in Dubai. We'll bring a lot of cards for all of you there, and then the rest will get it. Uh, when you can pay with credit cards for packages in the next two or three days, uh, we're almost there. And uh, you can also pay for the big packages then with credit card. It is very important for us to be very secure on the credit cards because um, you know accepting money for the big package is something that we have to do very properly, and this is why we only use the 3D secure credit card process, which takes a bit longer to implement. So very soon you can pay also with credit cards. So I think uh, maybe I give over now to Sebastian so he can close the webinar. It was really a pleasure here, and um, I would be super, super excited to see you all. 
Uh, about the auction, guys, whoever was in Conligus collected some kind of bids, we will transfer them to the OneCoin system, and our people can always participate with coins and with tokens in the auctions. So it will be something very, very good and amazing that's coming now. And I promise you, not only the auction will be something new for us, but I will have also many other options for you how to use your coins. And please, wait until Dubai and we'll have many, many surprises. I'm so excited to be with you and I would like to give over now to Sebastian. Sebastian, please. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Rusha. That was an amazing uh, webinar and amazing to also hear the uh, whole vision behind uh, one coin and your vision of due to uh, our owner and founder, Dr. Rusha Ignatova, uh, just looking at her academic background, looking at her experience, this is why we are a huge success today. I must also say that the power of network, the power of people, the power to be able together to do something which is really meaningful and create history in the world of cryptocurrency is actually what we're doing. Uh, being supported by such a strong owner with all the vision, all the concepts behind her makes this possible. We are here to stay. We are here to grow. We are one coin, one world, one currency. Don't forget Thursday's State of the Nation call and the bonus plan special with me, Sebastian Greenwood. Thank you very much for tonight. I look forward to see you on Thursday's webinar. Thank you and good night, good afternoon, wherever you are. Bye-bye.